What is the street parking vault? The street parking vault is one workout a week for 25 weeks with a goal of helping you build consistency. You can do any version you want. You can customize these workouts to make them work for your equipment and fitness level. Each week, log your workout before the time is up. Remember, your scores do not matter. You just can't miss. Welcome to 2023 Vault. This is workout three. The name is Komet. I'll be doing the barbell version today. I have 135 on the bar. My buddy Rich, he's gonna be using the sandbag and he's got 125, so that should be pretty fun. So stay tuned for that. And also stick around to the end for my tips for this workout and for more detailed descriptions of this workout and any other customizations you might need to make this workout work for you. Go to my.streetparking.com or go, go to the street parking app. with Kemet. We're Kemet. off to the races. Look at them go. They, Kemet. They are going, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> what is Kemet? All right, so Kemet, we've got DH over here is going with program B. Uh, so it's going to be three sets. Um, each set is three rounds. So you're going to do 20 double unders or 20 hop overs, nine front squats, seven toes to bar, or if you want, you can throw in a weighted sit up. Once you've done three rounds, that's one set. You'll rest for a minute. Just rinse and repeat for like two more times. Excellent. No problem. Three sets of three rounds. Sounds you multiply that together. You're getting a lot of rounds of basically double unders, squats, toes to bar, rest. Exactly. I mean, the rest sounds like the best part in there. It's always my favorite I mean, part. Same. For sure. So it looks like we have one finished round for both of them. Yeah. They're going to do two more rounds, and that will be one set. Yep. Easy enough, right? It sounds very simple. All right, so what do we have? Um, what do we have Rich doing? All right, so Rich is uh, exercising a little bit of his fitness freedom here. Okay. Um, so we do have for program C. Um, you can swap out the front squats for a sandbag front squat, but Rich is doing a bear hug squat. Ouch! Ouch! Is right. And he was shooting originally between six and seven. He was going to kind of see how he felt as yes. he went in the workout and kind of go in the range of six to seven. So I think if you're somebody and you want to throw in that bear hug squat, if you've got a lower end weight, maybe you go closer to that nine. If okay. you have, you know, a lighter or a heavier bag, like Rich, he's got the 125. 125. A casual 125 out there. Dang. Um, maybe go six to seven. So you can kind of feel it out. Um, ideally looking for a weight when we're fresh, we're doing those unbroken. Can we just can we just revisit the fact that he's rocking with a 125 pound D-ball for bear hug squats? Yeah, and I mean the important thing to note on the D-ball squat is it's gonna feel a lot different than maybe the bar or the barbell, dumbbells, or even with the sandbag on your shoulders. It's just out in front of you, so it's gonna feel like it's pulling you forward and it's really gonna tax the midline. So we combine that with the toes to bar. Yikes, and yikes, yikes. It's gonna get nice and spicy. Ooh wee. All right, so it looks like. Rich is wrapping we're up all, I think, his yeah, third round here. They're both in the, third in the middle. Round. Yeah. Dang, dang, dang. Yeah, so then we'll get a little one minute break. And really, what we're looking for the goal on each of these sets, we're looking for about three to four minutes. So they are gonna be uh, finishing up closer to that three minute range. Right. Rich on. was about 240 for those three rounds. That's great, because what we're looking for in this workout is three to four and a half minutes yeah. per set. Yes. Perfect. I'm liking that. That that seems doable. Yeah. I mean, 
not for me if I was doing a 125 pound bear hug squat, but I wouldn't do that in the first place. Nope, I would not <laughs> pick that option. I would go with like, if I was gonna do this workout with a sandbag of some sort, I would just do a straight up sandbag and I would do the 11 sandbag front squats. There you go. Because I talked to Rich a little bit beforehand and um, he decided to go with the less because he went with a nice heavy bag. The, the next choice for the bag was, I think, like 80 pounds, and that was just a little bit on the lighter side for him. Yes. So if someone's at home and they're trying to play around with reps, like how would, how would you choose what reps you went with if you were working with a sandbag or a D-ball? All right, so I think if you're, play around with it when you're fresh, and I'd say it's a, comfortably when you're fresh, you should be able to do them unbroken. So again, if it's that lighter bag, go ahead and error for that higher number of like 11 reps. But with like Rich, he's got this heavier bag, it's 125 pounds. I'd go on the lower end of those six to seven reps, just cause it's gonna catch up to you as you go through this workout. Especially with that bear hug, it's gonna tax the midline so much. You combine that with the toes to bar and get into the later rounds, it's just gonna be hard to hold onto that bag on the front of your body. I bet. All right, what about the versions that we're not seeing out here today? What would you do if you were doing this workout for the shift version? So the shift version is gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be kind of that similar time domain that, they're, that we're looking for here. So we're gonna do three sets, same thing. Each set is gonna be a four minute AMRAP. So you're gonna do 20 single unders or taps, 10 air squats, seven sit ups. So you'll continuously go through that for four minutes, rest for a minute, and then repeat two more times. Yeah. I like that. I like an AMRAP. I, I know, really it's nice. like an AMRAP. You got the set time frame you're gonna be working for. Um, same thing there though. I think that that one's gonna get pretty taxing on, on your, your midline with the air squats going into the sit ups. Nice. What do you think, which version do you think you're gonna do? So I actually really actually kind of like the bear hug squat. I think it's a, really? a different movement that we don't do, that I don't always do a ton of. So I think it would be fun to throw in. To be honest, I don't like front squats. So barbell, I think I'm out on the program B. <laughs> and I think that um, I'd probably go a little heavier so I could pick that lower rep range. Okay. Maybe go for like, I have like an 80 pound D-ball. Of course go for you that. do, of course you do. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, yikes, I don't, Something about a bear hug squat just makes me um, throw up a little in my mouth. Just a little bit, just a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, so they're working their way. Rich looks like he's on his last round of his second set. Last round, second set, that's gonna be six rounds all together. Yeah. I know math. You know math. <laughs> still looking good, they're still both looking good. What, do you have any tips for someone who, like you said, you don't like front squats, right? Yeah. Let's say someone is doing the barbell front squat, what would be a tip for them going into this workout? Yeah, so I think it's really important with the front squat, just because with the bar resting on you as your heart rate starts to get up with those double unders, really important to try to focus on keeping the elbows up. Okay. Keeping the elbows up is gonna allow the body, or the barbell to sit a little bit higher on you, which is gonna help, your, uh, help you when you move to those toes to bar. So I'd say really focus on those, keeping the elbows up. Try to go in broken, but as you get to those later rounds and things catch up to you, Break them up. Maybe, you know, if you're doing the nine barbell front squats, you do, you know, five, drop really quick, and then you're right into the four uh, front squats. Okay. Okay, elbows high on the front squat. Got it. Noted, Molly, noted. I think I'm gonna sneak up on Rich after he finishes these uh, oh. toes to bar and see what he has to say see about what he his has workout to say about so those, far. Uh, bear squats. Yeah, let's see how it's going. Hey, Rich. Hi. How's it going? Going good. How do you feel about the weight you ended up going with on that bear hug squat? It was good. It's heavy, manageable. Um, definitely compresses your diaphragm. Are you happy with what you chose? Yes. Nice. <laughs> I just love going and talking to people when they are just gasping for air. It's a, it's a pastime of mine that I really enjoy. It's the best because he didn't know you were coming either, so you got to catch him off guard. <laughs> I'm like, right as you put this water bottle up to your mouth to take a sip, ask you a question. <laughs> How's the workout, bud? Right?
Now with this one up too, we do have the option for an extra challenge. So maybe oh for somebody that's pretty comfortable with your double unders, um, there is the option to go extra challenge and do 30 double unders. Okay. And if you're feeling like real spicy and you're confident in your toes to bar, you can bump those up to 11 toes to bar. Oh my. Yeah, and program C is gonna have a little bit different numbers and how you can increase going from 11 squats to 14. But okay. yeah, you do have the opportunity to increase the double unders and toes to bar. So if you're somebody you're like, I know I can get those unbroken every time with the toes to bar, no problem. 20 double unders is a breeze. Go ahead and challenge yourself with that extra challenge and, and see how it goes. Let's, um, let's talk a little bit about this workout and what the story of the workout itself is. So this is Kemet, and what Kemet is is like, okay, so you're in Egypt, you're we're hanging Egypt. out, we're, we're in Egypt, out. right? We're so you got out. the Nile, big old river, we all know about it's the a, Nile. It's a slightly large river. Yeah, it's a good sized river. So right around the outsides of the river is a place called Kemet, and it's like this, this lush area, fertile land on either side of the Nile. Yes. So that works out in this workout because you're doing small sets and lots of transitions. So yes. it's, it's speaking to the lively, bustling land of Kemet. That, that's bustling. What, I really like bustling. Bustling. You know? They do look like they're bustling in yeah. this workout. Every day I'm bustling. You know that song. Yeah. <laughs> that good old fashioned song. But I think that's the, why this one's a bit tricky is because the numbers are on this like lower end yeah. of where you're going to be working for a quick amount of time at each movement and moving to the next one. But as you can see, it does catch up to you over time. So like even those, you know, for DH who's doing the nine barbell front squats, mm -hmm. it's kind of that tricky number of like, you're like, get to six and you're like, you know what? Yeah. I could, I could squeeze out those last three, but. But you really just don't want to, huh? <laughs> no. Eight and nine, those are rough numbers. Cause you're like, I can do it, but do I want to yes, do it? Yes. <laughs> Also, um, DH was not excited about the front squats going into this one, right? But you know what? Both of them were dreading the squats, That's to be true. honest. I mean, That's true. I'm right there with them. <laughs> I love a squat, honestly. Now, I don't do them quickly, but I do them. <laughs> yeah, and I think the one thing on this to be aware of if you're doing those hopovers or the double unders is it's really going to start to elevate your heart rate. Um, so trying to relax as much as you can in those before you get into those, those squats. So focus on kind of long arms on those double unders before you, after you set down the rope, take a few deep breaths before you pick up that barbell because it's really going to spike the heart rate as you get into those next two movements. Right on. So how, how, what is your game plan? Like you're, you're Molly, you're hanging out in your Molly garage. Okay, what so, are you picking up? What are you doing? <laughs> so for me, I would, I would probably, and um, I would do a version of program C, but I'd exercise my fitness freedom with the, the, bear hug. the bear hug. Okay. I'd probably do the heavier ball. So I think my, my range of numbers would be like, I'd shoot for maybe between six and seven. And then now, toes of bar for me are challenging. Yeah, like pacing wise, what are you doing? Yeah, so I think my goal would be to go unbroken on the, move smooth on the double unders. Okay. I'd go unbroken on the squats. And then on the toes bar, because those aren't a strong one for me, I might break them up. Go four, quick drop, and then three. Nice. Yeah. Okay, okay. What about you? Ooh. Well, I don't have toes to bar, so I'm gonna be hitting those weighted sit-ups for sure. Yeah. Is what I'm gonna use. Um, I mean, I could do a couple toes to bar here and there, but this isn't a workout where you wanna be doing two at a time the whole way right. through. I right. don't think, right? No, you I wanna- I should probably ask you, you're the coach. <laughs> no, you should be able to, with the, with the seven, it should be something that you can go unbroken, or as we talk about as you get to those later rounds, yeah. you're breaking it up maybe into two sets. Like you yeah. see Rich, he's dropping, short break, and then he yeah. jumps right back up. Nice. nice Rich. Yeah, so Rich wrapped that up in 11.32. So the That's way the up. score for this work workout is going to be your fastest round and your slowest rounds. Okay. Yeah, just keep track of each one of uh, the time that you get for each set. And then um, you're looking to get between three minutes and four and a half minutes for each one of those sets. And then for shift, you're looking for the total rounds and reps um, of all of the sets combined. And you're looking for a total of seven to ten on those. Yes. Workout like this, you're going to want to write it down. Let's just I mean, say that. <laughs> you know, the three sets, three rounds always kind of confuses people. So yes, I think writing almost writing it down and kind of doing those little marks mm -hmm. where you can mark it off each time yeah. when you complete a round would be helpful with this one. You know what? After watching them do it, and after you say, and you're just going to be a little Molly badass over here, and you're going to do the D-ball yeah. bear hug squats, I might try it. I might try it. I might try it. I'm not going it. very heavy, but I might give I it a love shot. Because that looked brutal, and why not every once in a while go a little brutal with something? You know, and same thing if you're going to do that program A too, we're going to have the, you know, obviously the dumbbell squats. 
So those are gonna be on the higher end, so those are gonna be the 11 reps instead of the nine that we're seeing DH do here. Would you, with 11 squats, would you break them at all or are you trying to go unbroken the whole time? We're looking for unbroken on that weight when you're fresh. Okay. And you know, obviously as we get into those later rounds like you're seeing them break it up right now. But I'd say be confident in the weight that you pick where you're starting off with those unbroken reps and then maybe yeah, as you as you get into it, maybe you're going six and five, breaking it up into two quick sets like the age is doing right now. Yeah. I'm telling you, the, the those front squats, seem like they get really heavy, especially when you're rocking over there with 135 on the barbell. Yes. Seems like it adds up. And then, well, yeah, that and then jumping up to do these toes to bar. You know, your core is just shot from the barbell resting on your shoulders. And then now going into that really fast kind of flexion extension that he's doing up there. Whew. I feel like this minute rest between sets is just like, not enough. <laughs> no, I <laughs> like think you don't just, really get your breath back so much, do you? No, so I think on a minute rest, you really, it can, the time can go by quick and you can get panicked about how terrible you feel. Right? So I think it's really important to kind of look at that minute and break it up, right? So I'd look at it as almost like, Maybe 15 to 20 second chunks. So like the first, so first 15, 15 seconds you panic. First so no. second, no? Okay. First 15 no. seconds, try to use that to get your heart rate down. So like okay. take a few big deep breaths. Obviously it's not gonna get down as much as you like, but try to bring it down as much as you can. The second 15 you panic? Mm -hmm. That's coming. And then I'd say the next, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, evaluate how that round went. Like, okay, wow, my toes are really starting to go. So maybe I need to do them in two sets this next round. Or maybe I yeah, need to Yeah, DH. Yeah, DH. Okay. Um, and then with that last little chunk of 15 to 20 seconds of that minute, just start to get ready for the next round. So go stand by your equipment, kind of visualize yourself getting into it. And that's kind of how you can break up that minute rest, because otherwise you can, like I said, just stand around and panic like you're talking about. Yeah. And then you go into the next round super frantic. I've never ever actually looked at a frantic. one minute rest. Frantic. Frantic. <laughs> frantic. I, I frantic I, all I, the time. I <laughs> Frantically panic. Frantic. <laughs> I think we just came up with a new word. I love it. Frantic. frantic. What um, are you I feel like in a one minute rest, I've never thought about anything else other than literally counting down the seconds till I have to start again in dread. So I love this thought of you could break it up into moments of what you're thinking about instead of just focusing so much on how you don't want to go again. Well, I'm right? gonna try that. Because when we work out, the workout minutes are like uh, microwave, or um, yeah, they're like microwave minutes. They go by yeah. super slow. Oh, yeah. But then your resting minutes go by so quickly. So, fast. so if you don't utilize it and properly recover, um, you're not setting yourself up for success for that next set. Okay, I I'm, should probably actually write this down. So there's catch your breath, catch there's your breath, evaluate. Evaluate and prepare. Prepare. So that's way to do it. Catch your breath, evaluate, prepare. You know what, Molly? I literally am <laughs> writing this down right, right down. now. I want to remember that for the future. Yeah, so we're seeing DH now that the, the amount of rounds are kind of catching up with him. So you'll for notice sure. when he goes to jump up for the toes to bar, He's probably going to break these up just into smaller sets and just chip away. Nice. There's four. He's got another three left. I'm telling you, these, these bustling areas of, of Kmet are just, just brutal. Brutal. The smaller numbers catching up. Nice, there DH. There we go. And DH is wrapped up in... All three sets took a, a little over 16 minutes. Nice. So you have 16 divided by things. I feel like that was a, I don't, I'm horrible at math, Molly. Was that, that around what we were looking at? Yeah, a little, yeah, a little bit, right around there, four and a half, yeah. Nice, nice. So we'll, we'll give DH a moment here to catch his breath and then we'll go, go to him for a few tips. Do you have any last minute tips for anyone who's going to tackle this one at home? I just think, you know, be aware as you guys go into it. Again, the numbers are a little bit smaller, so don't let them fool you. It is going to, uh, one is gonna impact the other. Again, utilize that rest and um, have fun with it. I love it. I'm gonna attempt the have fun with it part. I'm gonna well, break up frantic, my breaks. Panic. Frantic, the We're frantic. Panic. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good to me. I'm gonna catch my breath, evaluate and prepare in each of my minute rests between sets. And you guys should have some fun with Komet. Let's go to T DH for some tips. Oh boy, that was. What do you think, Rich? That was tough. That was tough. <laughs> that was a. That was, you were moving. That was a heart rate spiker yeah. fast. Yeah, it's really deceptive in the first set to go. I mean, we held a minute per round, and then 
I think in the middle of the seconds before I fell off, but you were still rolling. Um, so I would say to pace a little better. Um, don't be in such a rush. The double unders, for me at least personally, they don't really uh, tax me until the later rounds. So like right at the start of round six, I could feel it. Um, just my heart rate was not coming back down. So I think if I regulated the speed just a little bit in the first set, a little bit more, maybe one or two more seconds, transitioning from double under to front squat, front squat to the bar. Just moving a little slower for me. Yep. But I don't know what you think. <clears throat> a little different. I used the sandbag today. So I went with the 125 sandbag for sets of six. Um, the goal was, um, depending on the weight, uh, it depended on the sets for uh, the reps. So went with six. Get your heart rate because you're holding the bag on your diaphragm. So if you use a heavy bag, think about that. Uh, like DH said, take your time going between the stations. That's your breather. And then just pace it out. You have a minute break that really isn't that long. So yeah. have fun with it. It's a good one. Yeah. And I think if you just give yourself little mental goals to try and tackle, whether it's the suggested goal or not, and just commit to it. Like the front squats, I broke, uh, the, I broke the second set of the third round, and in hindsight, I didn't need to. I think it was just my head messing with me. So, something yeah. to, I mean, I use that information, so next time I know, mm -hmm. I can do them all. Yep. I just have to, I have this memory now to, to remind myself. Hang on to it. Yep. Great workout. The stimulus was awesome. Got to do it with my, yeah. my buddy Rich. Great. Have fun with that one, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the third workout of the street parking vault. Commit. Your workout today is three sets. Each set is three rounds of 20 double unders or hop overs, 11 dumbbell squats, seven toes to bar or weighted sit ups. Rest one minute between sets. Your score for this workout is the total time it takes you to complete each set. And the goal for this workout is between three and four and a half minutes. All right guys, so for this workout, although the numbers are on the lower end, don't let it fool you. It is going to catch up with you as you go through these rounds and sets. So the heart rate is going to get elevated in those double unders or hop overs. So be mindful as you get into your front squats, really focus on driving your elbows up. On those toes to bar or weighted sit-ups, try to get through those seven unbroken as long as you can. And then if you need to, go two small sets with a nice short break. For the detailed demos of the movements in today's workout, as well as the customization options, head on over to my.streetparking.com. Have fun with this one. Welcome to week three of the Street Parking Vault Commit. Your shift version of this workout is going to be three sets. Each set is a four minute AMRAP, as many rounds or reps as possible in four minutes. You're gonna do 20 single unders or taps, 10 air squats, and seven sit-ups. Rest one minute between each set. Your score for this workout is the total number of completed rounds and additional reps combined from all three sets. The goal for this workout is anywhere between seven and 10 plus rounds. All right, guys, so for this one, the numbers that you're gonna be working with are gonna be on the lower end, but don't let it fool you, it is going to catch up with you. You should shoot to hit about two to three rounds per set to stay within that goal range. Really utilize that one minute rest to try to recover. Get your heart rate down, kind of assess how the, how the previous set went, and then get ready to hit it again. For the detailed demos of the movements in today's workout, as well as the customization options, head on over to my.streetparking.com. Have fun with this one.